All right. It's a good idea when things collide or deal damage uh, to indicate that damage has been dealt by making the character flash a color. So I'll do that with my uh, player character here. I just added health to it. If you didn't see that, watch the other video about adding health to your inventory. And we'll just open this inventory up. And what we want to do is get a reference to our sprite renderer and change the color to red for a moment when we take damage. And then after a little while, we'll change it back. So I'll make a sprite renderer reference. I'll say sprite renderer. Maybe I'll call it S renderer, like that. I will assign a reference to it and start. S renderer equals get component sprite renderer. Remember that get component searches a game object for a type of uh, component. <clears throat> OK. So let's see. When I take damage, I want to set S renderer dot color equals color dot red. We'll come back over here. I've got just a couple minutes before I've got to start the class, so we'll see how we do. So now when I touch this, I turn red. Now I don't want to stay red, I want to go back to having it have a white tint after a moment. So now we want to use some kind of timer. Uh, I'll go to public, I'll make an update function here, void update. I'll make a damage timer equals zero. Then we'll say here when I take damage, I'll set damage timer equals one or maybe 0 0.5, something like that. And then in my update function, I'll do this. If damage timer is greater than zero, damage timer, oops, damage timer minus equals time dot delta time. Um, and then we'll say if damage timer is less than or equal is less than zero, maybe less than or equal to zero. <laughs> there we go. Uh, damage timer equals zero. And then I'll set the color back to white. So s renderer dot color e equals color dot white like that. So my timer, if my timer is greater than zero, it's going to count down. If it's less than or equal to zero, I use less than uh, because it's possible to overshoot. I set damage timer back to zero, and I set the color to white. OK, so let's see that. So this should make me flash red for a half a second. There we go. We might want to even bring that down a little bit more like that. If you wanted, you could make it so you're impervious to damage for that split second, too. Uh, you could do something like this. If damage timer uh, equals 0, and then just wrap this whole damage function inside of there. All right. There we go. Cool. I think that's the last video I have time for this morning.